Good morning and welcome to WS Rich News, your leading source for news at Seminole Ridge High. I'm Emma Edmondson. And I'm Tyler Berryhill. Today is Tuesday, November 28th. We've got a lot to tell you about this morning, but first, today's top story. Seminole Ridge is having their winter pep rally this Friday, but only 800 students will be getting in. WS Rich News reporter Logan Sanchez has more on how you can go. I'm here with Mr. Kerman talking about the pep rally. So there's only 800 spots at the pep rally, how are you, and more than 800 people signed up. How are you going to be organizing that? That's a good question. We have, as of right now, 1,085 people who have responded. Um, and yes, there are 800 spots, but that doesn't necessarily mean that all 800 spots are filled. So what happens is that 800 is broken into like kind of subgroups. So you have uh, freshmen, they're usually about 150 who attend. Same for sophomores, about 150. 200 for juniors, and then for seniors, it's 300. Um, so it could be that, for example, most of those people who responded are freshmen. It could be that most of the people who responded are sophomores, not a lot of seniors, maybe. I haven't really looked at it, to be honest. I don't know exactly the numbers until I close out the form. But um, with that in mind, don't like kind of get in the assumption that, like, oh, you know, more than 800 people have responded just because, you know, it might just be one group has responded more than the other. Um, so just kind of like still enter, see your chances. Maybe you'll get in, maybe you won't. But it, regardless, there are more pep rallies to come. So, you know, the process will be the same. Well, thank you for taking the time to talk with us for WR Search News. This is Logan Sanchez. We have Spirit Week coming up December 11th through the 15th. Monday is Ugly Sweater Day. Tuesday is Winter Wonderland Whiteout. Wednesday is Twin Day. Thursday is Dress to Impress. And Friday is your holiday PJ Day. Time to get your spirit on. Do you want to help support girls basketball? This Wednesday, our basketball cheer team will be selling snow cones after school in the car loop. All forms of payment are welcome. The Makeup Club meeting is this Wednesday, the 29th at 3 o'clock in room 4207. If you have any questions about Makeup Club, see Ms. Hunter in room 107, in room 4107. The Question Club will have a meeting on Friday, December 1st in Mrs. Rooka's room, 6206. Anyone and everyone who has an interest in horses is welcome to join. The Google Classroom code is 4DDUYH6. Seminole Ridge is starting a new social studies academic games team, and their first meeting is next week. WSRH news reporter Liliana Marion has more on why you should join. I'm here with Ms. Puffer to discuss the social studies academic games. So, Ms. Pelfrey, I hear the first meeting is next Wednesday. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah, so next Wednesday we're having our first meeting. So, Social Studies Academic Games is like language arts, but it's different because it's about um, different topics and they're trivia-based questions. So, each year they do current events from the previous year, so it would be f all of 2023. And then we also do Presidents 16 to 33, I believe. So, that starts with um, Theodore Roosevelt, and it goes up until... FDR. And then this year, they have a separate theme every year that you know about, and this year it's the history of rock and roll, which is pretty exciting. So the first meeting will go over the different topics, different resources to use. It's very student-led, so you really just do your research, you have the break, and our first competition is in January. All right, who can par participate? Anyone can participate. Um, if you did language arts academic games and you do social studies, you are eligible to go on to nationals, which can get you scholarship money. So if you've done language arts, then it's highly recommended you come out for social studies. But if you really love trivia or you just love uh, being competitive with yourself and others, it's a really fun opportunity. All right, and then where and what time is the meeting at? The meeting is in my room, 7112 at 3 p.m. after school. It's Wednesday, December 6th is the first meeting, and we'll be meeting various Mondays and Wednesdays through the end of the year, and the first competition is in the middle of January. All right, well, thank you for taking the time to talk with us. For WSRH News, I'm Lillian and Marion. Congratulations to this week's Hawks of the Week. Ninth grade, Kylie LeClaire, nominated by Miss Greenhall. Tenth grade, Nicholas Ruddick, nominated by Mrs. Nicho. Eleventh grade, Jakira Burnett, nominated by Mrs. Berg and 12th grade Ashley Ruddick, nominated by Mrs. Mole. Good job, students. G good job, Hawks. Students were nominated based on academic excellence, academic improvement, or for making their, their efforts in making our campus better by doing things like helping others, volunteering their time, or even simply picking up trash. Good luck, Hawks. Coming up on WSH News, weather and birthdays, plus sports.
water. No one can see me cry. Why shouldn't you tell a joke while staying on ice? Why? Because it might crack up. Let's go to WSS meteorologist Jonah Baker with today's forecast. Good morning, Hawks. On today's forecast, we have a high of 72, a low of 52 with party cloudy skies. Looking at our 3-day forecast, on Wednesday, we have a high of 76, a low of 56 with party cloudy skies. On Thursday, we have a high of 79, a low of 65 with party cloudy skies. And on Friday, we have a high of 83, a low of 70 with party cloudy skies. For WSR weather, I'm Jonah Baker. We have a happy birthday going out to Caitlin Burt, Sophia Lee, Madeline Pitar, um, Adriana uh, Pictanza, Samantha Spears, Dalen King, Kaylee Pintado, and Kale Moores. Happy birthday. WSRH sports anchor Cole Single joins us now at the sports desk. Good morning, Hawks. We have a lot, to, a lot of sports to get to talk about, so let's get into it. Boys, JV Soccer beat Cardinal Newman last night 6-0. Their goal scores were Ethan, Nestor, Jack, Dylan, Martin, and Angela. Their goalkeeper, Jacob, got a shutout with a conceding zero goals. Boys basketball played last night at home. WSO Brian Hansen has the games. Boys. I'm here with varsity basketball player Chase Marcy following last night's game against Forest Hill and what you also got player of the game. So, how do you think your team did overall? The effort was there. Although we lost, I think we got better as a team last night, and we just need to move on. What areas do you think your team needs to improve on? Decision making and turnovers. And when is your next game? Home here tonight at 7.30 against Forest Hill. All right, well, thank you for taking the time to talk with us. WSH Sports, I'm Ryan Hansen. Taking a look at today's sports calendar, boys basketball versus Glade Central at home. Freshmen at 4.30, JV at 6, and Varsity at 7.30. Girls JV soccer versus Dwyer at home at 6. Good luck, Hawks. Well, that's it for WSRH Weather Sports. I'm Cole Single. Well, that is <laughs> well, that's it for WSRH News. I'm Emma Edmondson. And I'm Tyler Berryhill. Remember that you can follow us on social media, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube at Seminole Ridge TV. Have a great day, Hawks.